Hi, my name is Alice, and I am going to explain the process engine monitoring feature introduced in CAPPM. Process engine monitoring is a lightweight framework that tracks periodic queries looking for problematic processes running in an environment. The two specific processes that have been handled in this release are Infinite Loop and Process Storm. Either of these two types of processes will easily make the process engine irresponsive and make it appear as if the system is down as other processes will be unable to progress. You can configure the settings for process engine monitoring in the properties XML file. This file can be found under the config folder. The settings can be accessed through the Clarity System Administration via the Process Monitor link, or through the CAPPM application by using the Security PEM config link. A sample URL is shown here. An infinite loop is a process step that is being executed many times in a short amount of time. This is an indication that a condition in the process flow is either failing or needs adjustment and the process is looping out of control. When CAPPM identifies an infinite loop process, the process will be put on hold, and running instances of the process will also be put on hold. A notification will be sent to the process creator, or administrator. The validation page of the process definition will indicate there is a problem with the process, and corrective action needs to be taken. A message is also written to the app process engine log file. A process storm is caused when many instances of a process whose start event is update are being started. Typically, this is caused when the process itself has a system action on a process step that updates the object. This is an indication that the start event needs adjustment. When CAPPM identifies this issue, the process storm process will be put on hold, and a notification will be sent to the process creator, or administrator. Running instances will be put on hold. The validation page of the process definition will indicate there is a problem with the process, and corrective action needs to be taken. A message is also written to the app process engine log file. Some of the key configurations that you need to perform for the infinite loop and process storm tasks are, set the time threshold, specify the loop or process limit. It is the number of times a step on a process can loop within the time threshold before the next run of the task will act on the process. The time threshold is set in hours. Set up an exception list by specifying a comma-separated list of process IDs that should not be monitored using process engine monitoring. Thank you for watching this video. You can learn more about CAPPM by visiting the CA Education website.